money got longer, speaker got louder, car got faster. Turn to a savage, pocket. <laughs> Yo, what is up guys? Sorry, I've been lacking on the draft recaps. I just realized I haven't uploaded one in about a week. Uh, I'm sorry. But good news is I'm gonna start uploading them starting now. I'm probably gonna have them all done by hopefully the end of next week. And then I have finals and then I'm going to be free for the summer, so we're going to have a lot of videos. I'm hoping at least three a day, so subscribe for that content. Let's get started on the Broncos draft recap, though. Broncos had a really underrated draft. I really like what they did here. I really like them adding pieces to their offense, their line, and depth to their defense. It's really going to help them for the future. They got some steals and some players that are going to contribute for some future years to go on. Garrett Bowles here. Great offensive lineman, number, it's like number one or two to most people. Uh, he's gonna be a great guard for them. He's gonna help protect Trevor Simeon or Paxton Lynch or whoever's in there, but great pickup by them. And I really like what they did with their first draft pick. Uh, I was wondering if it was kind of a reach, but he was one of the best offensive linemen in the class, so you can't really reach on him. Really love the pick here. One thing I couldn't understand about a lot of people's mock drafts this year was why they had Demarcus Walker so low on their board. Like, Demarcus Walker is a top 10 edge rushing talent in this draft class, and people had him going late third, mid third, maybe even fourth round. Like, what? Why would you do that? Demarcus Walker is a great pass rusher. He has a handful of tools that he can use. He has a great goodie bag of little spin moves, finesse moves, and swim moves or whatever. He has some great tools that he could help get his pass into the passer. And he just has a great bag of that. He's also a good run stuffer. He's decent at that. He can get swallowed up inside of a bigger offensive lineman and get taken out of a lot of plays by them. But he is a great talent. I don't understand why he fell. It makes no sense to me. And I think the Broncos got a steal here. I don't know if they need if this is like a major need for them. Uh, DeMarcus Ware is on his way out of the door and I can see why they needed him, but I still think they could have drafted more of an offensive need, maybe um, a guard or a tackle here. Dan Feeney was still on the board. There was a handful of other players that could draft it for their offensive line, but still great pick here. It's gonna help their defense and it's gonna help their rotational players and their older guys Just like Demarcus Walker, people have been underrating Carlos Henderson all draft. It's disrespectful. This man was so good in college. I don't understand why people are sleeping on him. Yes, he's a little bit undersized. Yes, he's a slot receiver. Most teams don't want to draft a slot receiver in the second or the first round. But the late third for this man, he had so much production at Louisiana Tech. He was such a good player for their team, and he was so useful for them in so many different ways. And the Broncos got a steal of a player here. This is kind of where their draft hit a like, peak. Their draft was so amazing from this point on, and I'm just shocked that Carlos Henderson fell this far. A lot of mock drafts had him in here, and I was questioning why. I still don't understand why. He's gonna be a beast for years to come. The Broncos got a steal of a player. Yo, steal of the draft, steal of the draft, steal of the draft. Nah, this man right here is an amazing talent from Michigan. I know why he fell, but he should have been a second round talent. He should have gone earlier than this. I still don't see how he fell this far. Broncos got a steal of a player here in Jake Butt. Jake Butt is a great athlete, great hands catcher, great route runner, decent blocker. 
this man is a full package and the Broncos can be very happy with what they have. Uh, he probably won't play this season, which is why he fell so far. He tore his ACL and very tragic, but at least he has a good place to go. Broncos will have tight end threat. They have it since they got rid of Julius Thomas. And him and Paxton Lynch or uh, uh, Trevor Simeon are going to have fun throwing this guy. He's going to be a great end zone target. And he's just going to be a great overall player for the Broncos going forward. Yo, this man's a joke right here. Joker of the draft. This man's a clown. Really, this man, he could have been such a good player. He could have been a round three lock. He could have been a top five talent at quarterback in this draft. But off the field issues, partying, drinking, all this stuff has contributed to him falling to the last pick in the draft. Mr. Irrelevant. Come on, Chad Kelly, I know you're better than this. This man has that Johnny Manziel mentality where he is just doing whatever he wants. He's the big man on campus and he feels invincible, but he's not. He is not. He probably has gotten a giant wake-up call from being drafted this late in the draft. He probably expect himself maybe to be a fifth round pick at least. And he has fallen all the way to the last pick in the draft. He wasn't going to go undrafted. No team was going to let that happen, but still, that's just hilarious of how he <laughs> went to the last pick in the draft because of his off-the-field issues. But my analysis on him, he's a good player. He had some great tape at Ole Miss. He was their leader. Him, Laquan Treadmill, Evan Ingram all had great great production at Ole Miss and he was the catalyst for that. Uh, he's a great player, he just needs to get some off the field issues sorted out and I don't know if he can do that, but if he can, the Broncos got another steal of a player here. I want to say thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more NFL, NBA, college, and all sports content. Going to be covering it all summer long, so stay tuned, NBA draft mocks coming up and I'm finishing the rest of the NFL so stay tuned for that don't forget to like subscribe comment and I'm out peace